How to add a network interface to a Linux CentOS 7 computer. In this example, the Linux computer runs as a virtual machine on VMware ESXi 6.5 host server. The Linux VM already has one functioning interface with IP 192.168.1.124 on the WAN connected virtual switch. The virtual LAN already has a running DHCP server. On the VMware host, we will add an interface to the Linux VM and attach it to the LAN connected virtual switch. We'll SSH into the Linux VM at IP 192.168.1.124 to finalize the settings for the additional LAN connected interface. Okay, here's a little diagram illustrating um, the objective. So there is a LAN segment and there is a WAN segment. The Linux box is already connected to the WAN and we're going to add an interface so we can connect it to the LAN. Okay, let's take a look at the Linux box that it is presently. So here we are at the uh, Linux prompt. Let's check what interfaces are in there. IPA. So we got to look back in there and we've got the ENS192 interface which has a IP address 192.168.1.124 that belongs to the WAN. So let's start to ping the gateway. And that works. Now let's ping something on the LAN. So this would be the running um, DHCP server. No response. So there's no route connectivity or interface to the LAN. Okay, so let's add the interface to the virtual machine. So here we are in the VMware console and we'll go to edit the virtual machine. We're going to add a network adapter and we're going to connect it to VM network 2, which is the LAN side. And it is successfully added, as the message states down here. Now let's get back into the Linux box. Now we do an IPA. And there is the second network interface, ENS224. It's got an IP address from the running DHCP server. So what we need to do now is uh, finish up the configuration file in network scripts for the ENS224. And I guess I made a typo and there we are. So um, I need to have a UUID for the new interface that we're going to paste into the configuration file. So let's generate a UUID for ENS224 and I'm going to copy that and put it on the clipboard. Okay. So a quick way to generate another configuration file for the ENS224 is to just copy the config file for ENS192. Okay, 
Now, uh, let's go ahead and edit that file. Okay, so, since this was for ENS192, the UUID is wrong, but we generated one for ENS224, and I had copied that out, and I will now paste that, and give it a name, and this DNS obviously can be taken out because it's the LAN network segment. So boot proto, DHCP, that's correct, default route, blah, blah, blah. On boot, yes. Name, ENS. 224. So that is the configuration file. Now let's make sure the permissions are correct. Read, write, read, read, okay. So let's uh, restart the network. So that's done. Uh, IP A. Now let's ping a little bit. Let's ping the gateway on the WAN again. That's successful. Now let's ping the DHCP server on the LAN. And we're good to go. Now let's go back to the diagram and see what we accomplished. So the result is that we have a two interfaces on the Linux box, one that connects to the LAN and one that connects to the WAN. And That's it for now. Hope it was helpful. Thanks. Bye-bye.